the life keys. The life keys are represented by the mammals, all the mammalian matrix. And in, within the creative imagination, within this world, this construct, you know, we are within that realm. We are the mammals. We are connected deeply with all mammals, with all these species uh, that we've come from, that we've emerged from. You know, so the difference between humans and mammals is that we are vertical and mammals are horizontal. So they live horizontally as opposed to vertically in a different way. I mean, some of the apes are like half and half. But that programming is, makes us very, very different. So when we lie down and we sleep and we dream, we go into that mammalian realm. And working with the life keys when we're dreaming and seeing and inviting mammals to come into our dreams, what it's doing is it's awakening codes inside our DNA. These life keys, they're keys specific to our unconscious and they're hidden inside us. And every mammal represents a gift, a specific gift. Like if you could understand the mammals that you're most connected to, whether it's a dog or a cat or a llama or, a, you know, a goat or it can be, you know, something wild like a tiger. They all have specific gifts that they represent in the Dream Art Codex. So once you begin to work with the life keys, you're working with the mammals, you're working with gifts. You're working with creative gifts inside you. And this isn't just made up stuff. This is like unlocking the creative imagination, unlocking gifts inside your life that you can then bring out into the world. So we can use this dream art teaching and these life keys as a way of revivifying aspects of ourself that are asleep. And as we awaken more and more of them, we become a more complete and a more beautiful and a more wondrous and a more whole human being.